Hi guys, Ender here. Now, one of the things I actually really liked, even though I've not used it yet in any way, uh, about the Samsung Galaxy Note 9, was Samsung DeX. The ability that you could just plug in, basically, to a TV using relevant cable, uh, HDMI to USB Type-C, and you would get a desktop experience on that monitor. You could then connect in whatever you wanted to the phone, really, a keyboard, a mouse, and you've kind of got a little computer, but it's your phone. Uh, and I thought Samsung had kind of, they were the only ones doing this, but apparently not. Huawei doing it as well. So I have here my Huawei Mate 20 Pro, and I have here a USB Type-C cable, which is plugged into my TV. When I plug it in, welcome to Easy Projection. You see it's already got the desktop on the TV virtual keyboard and mouse so you can obviously use the phone as the keyboard and mouse you don't have to have a keyboard and mouse you use the phone screen as a touchpad and when it needs a keyboard the keyboard pops up on the phone as you would if, if you were writing a text message but obviously you're interacting or your output is going through the TV switch projection mode so you can just mirror your screen or you can be oh here's, here's the actual controls look touch to left click touch right. so all sort of what we would expect. How do we move on? Yep, so there is the touchpad. Now, I'm hoping, there we go. So I've now got the touchpad on the actual monitor. You can see I've got a pointer. So we can go to what I want. We can go to, and obviously, to state the obvious, but these are the files that are on my phone now as if it was, um, well, a computer, really, I suppose. I can use two fingers to scroll. Let's have a look at videos. Now that does look very low resolution, which is a bit disappointing. So the one thing with uh, DeX, it was really impressive. It was one of the times where I, I th sort of thought the Samsung's uh, Note 9's camera was amazing. It was when I watched some 4K footage on the TV through DeX. Um, it doesn't look like we're getting a good sort of, or as good a rendition on the TV as Samsung does. That doesn't look as bad. I've got no sound at the moment. I don't know if that's, uh, I guess I guess that's what we're stuck with. That actually looks a lot better. Maybe I just chose a bad video. Um, what else, what else, what else? So, well, I mean, that's document. Have I got any documents? No. Downloads, I do have, so that's my downloads folder. But let me, let's just double check. We've got an MP3 there. There we go, so there is sound. I just need to turn it on. Then we, you know, we can go into whatever apps we might want. If we wanted to watch YouTube apps through the phone onto the TV, we can do that. So let's just try. There we go. We can make it full screen, I assume. There we go. The, to come out of full screen, apparently, that. Or we can just close it, that's fine. So in the bottom left corner, we've got the app drawer shows all the kind of compatible ones or the Huawei ones, but then we can go into third party apps and obviously that's where, so we can, for example, so I'm finished with my uh, desktop mode, fine. So it basically emulates the um, phone screen on the TV. We can then try and make it full screen. The tricky thing Clearly, there are some limitations. Let's go back up and let's just close that. Obviously, you had a gamepad. If you're playing a game using a gamepad, you could plug it into the TV and you'd be fine. Let's move across so we can we can change the output device so the sound is coming out of the phone. We can bring up the keyboard. Oh, actually, we're just changing what keyboard method is there. There's all my notifications. We can turn off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, and that kind of thing in there. 
and I think we've already seen we've got the regular back home and app switcher buttons in the bottom right corner. So I mean it's not there's nothing sort of super special apart from the fact that this is putting your phone on a screen. I think it's such a great idea, such a useful tool for some people, I guess. So not so much for me because I do have a computer that I do most of my stuff on. I have a tablet. I've got you know all sorts of different options, but. I don't know, more and more people these days aren't bothering with computers, they don't have computers, but maybe this would be quite good if they got a keyboard and a mouse, Bluetooth ones, or just get a USB-C adapter that allows more things to plug in. You could basically have, you know, you could be there answering emails and things on a, I mean, I don't have to do a massive big TV like that, it could just be a normal size monitor. I think it's a great option, and I kind of wish that Android did it baked in, rather than these third party providers like Huawei and Samsung having to do their own thing, because I just think it's such a good idea. Um, so there you go, which is a really quick look at it. So you kind of, I should point out, I suppose, actually you can open more than, I've lost my pointer now. Oh, the screen's gone off. There we go. Play music, there we go, that's in a smaller. Photos. Tap and drag. So you can open up more than one window, obviously. Um, oh, like this is I can cast it from there, so I can cast it to the TV that it's already on. But there you go. So yeah, I just think it's a really cool option to have, even though, like I say, I've not really used it yet, but I do, I've got a little goodie bag that I do carry a cable around with me. You never know when it might be handy. You can just literally plug straight into somebody's TV to try to show them stuff, be it videos, photos, whatever. Um, it's just a really good option. I thought I would just point out that Huawei has it as well. Samsung desk gets talked about quite a lot. I, I had no idea that Huawei had a uh, sort of bent a desktop mode as well. Perhaps even more interesting, there's a wireless desktop mode. Let's just turn that on. Searches for devices, and it finds that's my TV. Says connecting. So basically, unfortunately, the wireless mode not so great. Um, there you go, though. So I just thought it's the, the the version that works with the cable really interesting, really useful. I'm um, left to know your thoughts. Please leave them in the comments down below. But for now, my name's Andy. And I'll catch you all again soon. Well done and thank you for making it to the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, you might want to click the little fellow that should hopefully appear about here to subscribe. Um, you may also want to check out some of my other videos which are going to appear somewhere there. Um, also, come have a look at my website, androidandy.uk. Um, there is also a forum. Come and say hello on the forum if you've got any questions about things or requests me to review things or anything else. Just come and have a chat on the forum.